Друзья, уважаемые поклонники боевых искусств, представляем вашему вниманию трехраундовый бой в полулегком весе. Представляем вам спортсменов. Спортсмен из Грузии по прозвищу Сетечкин. Приветствуйте! Соса Нижарадзе! Соса Калдебса, у куда вы писаете? From Georgia, Sosa Mijaraja holds the rank of black belt in judo, but told me in our fighter meeting yesterday that he feels that his wrestling is his biggest asset in MMA. Mijaraja has a wide open style. He enters this bout tonight, M1 Challenge 86, with a pro MMA record of four wins, four losses. But Mijaraja has been finished in all four of those defeats. Told me that he's working on being more controlled as a fighter. He said he wants a slow start. He wants to feel out his opponent, Adam Gagiev, in this fight early, and then slowly turn up the pressure. Dijaranza also said he wants to ultimately take this fight to the ground, just not in a hurried fashion. He feels that's where he will find victory. Спортсмен в Красном Гурыджа представляет Российскую Федерацию Республику Ингушетия. Встречайте! Адам The Russian Adam Gagiev from here in the Republic of Ingushetia. His pro MMA record stands at three wins, two losses, one draw. This is his fourth fight in M1, and he's won his last two. Gagiev fought twice for M1 last year, both times here in Ingushetia. He has a very aggressive style. He told me he wants to take advantage of openings as he sees opportunities present themselves in this fight to seize on those. Gagiev has a very heavy grinding top game and he wants to put that to full effect in this fight against Sosa Nizaradza. To get us started, here's my broadcast partner, Ian, the Machine Freeman. 
Ladies and gentlemen, and gentlemen this, this is an L1 challenge, challenge bout in the, in the featherweight, featherweight division. division. Now, now let me introduce your, your fighter in the blue corner. corner. This, this fighter is 29 years old. Years old. He weighed in at 65.8 kilograms. He stands 162 centimeters tall and has a record of four wins with four losses. Representing Georgia, Soso Stechkin Vizalata. And now welcome his opponent in the red corner. This fighter is 27 years old. He weighed in at 66.4 kilograms. He stands 170 centimeters tall and has a record of three wins, two losses with one draw. Representing the Republic of Ingushentia, Adam Kajiev! And your referee for this bout, Mika Sinkinen. Okay, gentlemen, you're both on the road, so let's make good and clean fight. That's class. Back to you, Gona. In the featherweight division, Sosa Nicharadza versus Adam Gagia. Referee Mika Sinkinen from Finland showing the yellow card to Gagiev. He missed weight by 0.6 kilograms. That's the yellow card, which equates to a one point deduction. Fight! Round number one, gray and white trunks for Nizaradza, black trunks for Gagiev. It's a great E in the machine, Freeman on Sean Wheeler. Well, the height advantage that Gagiev has, Nizaradza would be wise to shoot under, shoot low. The low center of gravity as well when he's in top position. There you go, he gets it. Overhand right to the takedown. Beautiful wrestling, Sean. Oh, nice, strong, powerful punches as well. Short left hand from Izaradza, trying to stay heavy with his top game now. Close guard from Gagia. Let's see. Izaradza is so sure from this position, the punches will be powerful. He's got a low center of gravity. Nice, short, powerful, short punches from this position. Another got, big left hand. The guard is wide open if he wants to pass. Position is your his head. It's not a punt that's legal. Basic forehead to forehead for more punching power, just like that with the left hand. Look how clever Miserazzi got his hands on the inside, holding the biceps of his opponent. That stops him retaliating or punches from bottom. Clever ground and pound if you watch it carefully. Gagiev opening his guard once more, back to close guard. Go, go. Call for action from Mika Sinkinen. Nizaradza <laughs> staying sticky, giving Gagiev no space whatsoever on the bottom. Body head with the right hand. Yeah, nice, powerful body shots. He's just staying active. The body shots are not causing much damage. Staying active, he makes sure that he keeps his hands on the inside, like he has been doing, controlling the biceps of his opponent on the ground. Pushing his head up, up, up on the fence part of the rage. Gagiev talked about his top game, his top pressure coming into this fight. But thus far, it's the top game on the ground of Sosa Nijaradza. Another big left hand. Nice head control as well. You see how he's using his head to control his opponent. Control the head up against the rage. Pulls out the hips, beautiful work. Well, this is very clever and very strict form of ground and pound that we're seeing here, Sean. It's not giving Gadjiev any room to move whatsoever. Body head again with the left hand. Gadjiev back to open guard. He's trying for the, the triangle, he's got wrist control, he's pushing it back. 215 remaining round number one of this featherweight fight. Mizarad is a punisher. Slowly but surely, he's just going to wear you down. And you see the grinding pressure with the head of Sosa Nijaradza. Another left hand. This is clinical ground and pound, basing on the knee. More big left hands from the Georgian. I like the, the only thing I could say is Nizaradza. I like to see him use both hands. It's one hand, then the other. One hand, then the other. There's nothing wrong with sitting back, having a little bit of a posture, and then throwing the two hands down. 
Machine is one of the real founders of ground and pound in our great sport of MMA. You really have to appreciate the technical aspects of what these oh, are doing. Without a doubt, there's a lot of people out there think you just go to the ground and throw punches and hope for the best. You know, you're punching hands, you're punching the top of the head, you're not connecting them to the target. But every time you hit someone with a good ground and pound shot that wears down that energy, I say to people, just imagine it's like an old Atari game. Energy levels are in the green. Every time you hit them, the energy level goes down and down and down till eventually it goes into the red. And you've worn them out. You've basically beaten them with ground and pound. They cannot come back with any offense. Final minute, round number one. Here's your odds of staying heavy, staying sharp. And he a very low close guard. Gonna try for a reversal, he's trying to sweep, but there's no center of gravity. This is it he's going to be very hard to sweep in. There's a lot of height disadvantage for this but when they're on the ground, that height disadvantage is a bonus for him. Starting left hand. Again, body to the head, head to the body, mixing things up. I've yet to see Nizaradze sit back and posture yet. And this is all done in Nizaradze's corner. Smart as he can hear his coaches. Final seconds to the gong, the end of round number one. Well, a nice clinic around for Nizaradze. I mean, that was just one-sided, that round. Some could even give that as a 10-8 round because of the, the total domination. Download our app, it's M1 Global TV. You can watch live broadcast of all M1 Challenge events anywhere around the world. Jaradza wanting to take this fight to the ground. Indeed, that's what he did. And that's where Gagia then spent the vast majority of round number one. On the ground, on his back. Heavy top pressure, thudding ground and pound from Sosani Jaradza in the opening round. We're at Sport Palace, Ingushetti, Russia, M1 Challenge 86. Just bout number three of a 12-fight card, our final M1 Global event of 2017. See the abrasion under the left eye of Adam Gagiev. In MMA, no matter what body you have, you have to make that body type work for you. We saw that from Nizhia Rods in round number one. Short, stocky, Fight. the level change, low center of gravity. The gong in round number two. Well, Gadjiev will be expecting another takedown. Oh, nice. Solid low kick. Gadjiev can't get the head kick yellow on the counter. Gadjiev needs to be ready for a knee as he comes in, or an uppercut as he comes in. Firmly behind the Dom Gagia. There's the shot change. Looking for oh. the wizard. Big mistake. Big mistake. He went for the wizard. He should have tried to leave it. And again, these are odds at top position. Again, Gagia parked on his back with his shoulders against the fence. Well, Gagia needs to do something different. He needs to do something totally different than what he did in round one. Look, oh, that's beautiful. Nizaradza just pulling the elbow away. Nizaradza slowly walking up the body. Right hands to the body. Looking to isolate his shoulder now, Gagia. Yeah, he's going to come over, maybe go for a Google platter. Then maybe swoop, spin to the side for an over platter. Nizaradza's seen it. Just needs to push that head through, get the foot over the top of the head. There we go. Oh, he's seen it. He got it through. Over the shoulder, indeed, he was looking for the go-go plot and trying to get that shin under the throat of Nishiradza. But if the go-go doesn't work, you can go for the omoplata. And again, sometimes people use the omoplata just to get out of a bad position and help him stand back up. Right hand to the body from Sosa Nishiradza. You can see Gadjev getting frustrated. He opened his arms out. His corner man is standing right next to him, screaming. And he looked at him and opened his arms out as if to say, what the hell do I do? But, oh, a stand-up. Stand-up order by Mika Sinkinen. Well, a saving grace there for Gajiev. Well, Nizaradze hands down by his side. 
It takes a lot of energy to do a double leg takedown to shoot in. Trump need nothing there from the Dom Gardia. Spinning back fist from these Rods. Yeah, just off the mark. Still looks fit there. Side from these Rods. There's the level change this shot. Oh, nice. To the waist cinch. Looking for the waist cinch takedown. Well, the rope saved him. But he's got a single now. Is he going to go high crotch and lift him, or is he going to pull it down the pipe? 215 remaining round number two. Shirazi is still looking oh, for the single. Nice, beautiful. Nice, nice. On the ankle pick, on the far ankle. From one to a double. Beautiful <laughs> lick. High single reaching through, sucking in the ankle for the takedown. Trying to step down. Oh, sorry, trying to step over. Bringing the knees together to control the hips is Nizhiradza. Frustrating machine for Adam Gagiev. Corner of the George and Sosha Nizhiradza. He's trying to get back up, but he's not controlling the head of Nizhiradza. He needs to control his head when he's trying to get back up. Because if you do not control his head, he's just going to pull you back down. Worried look in the right corner of Adam Gagiev from here in Ingushetia. He's got the angle in the knee, Nizhiradza. He's just going to pull him out again. If you're gonna stand up, you've got to control that head. Get an underhook or control the head. He has neither. So it's gonna be very hard to stand back up, especially when someone like this allowed to know how to wrestle. Gagiev's mouth wide open. Nothing on those right hands from Gagiev. Continual heavy pressure from Nizaradza. And sucking in the knees together and locking up the body, Sosa Nizhiradza. Yeah, you could maybe pull it out and get over to mount position just to get over those knees. And you could feel Gajiev trying to grab the ankle pick. He's looking for the up kick, can't find it, he was stacked. Yeah, half guard is going to slip out from half guard now, try and get mount. Although I love half guard for ground and pound, it's a really good position. Gagiev trying to turn, looking for the sweep, difficult with his right hip against the fence. 20 seconds remaining, round number two. Oh, he's going for the Kamura. Jirata isolating the left arm of Gagiev. Difficult to get from this position. Final seconds now, second round of this featherweight fight. Sosa Nijirata versus Adam Gagiev. Stop. That is the end of round two. I didn't even hear the gong there. Didn't even hear it. They have an enormous gong machine we saw as we walked in, but they've yet to hit that. I was hoping that would be used by the timekeeper, but... I was I was hoping they got rid of the gong years ago. They're <laughs> still using it. They decided to add a microphone to it, but even then, when the crowd was loud as this in Ingushenta, you can't hear it. Round number two, you saw the flash, the spinning back fist. No flash, just technique and skill. The takedowns, the top game, Sosa Nijiradza. Showing positional control and ground and pound. You and me are certainly Bell advocates in MMA. Yeah, Bell, Bell always works better for me. Or even a, a foghorn. Something different to a goal Second that's job. it with a lollipop. Second job. Heading into the third and final round. <laughs> Story of this fight. Ready, the ready, downs, fight! Slash the top game of Sosa Nijaraja. I barely heard the goal in there, round number three. Yeah, got Jeff needs, he needs a knockout or a submission. Oh, wow. Immediately. Ducking under the right hand to the takedown on the single leg. That was crazy. That was absolutely crazy. You do not throw a big right hand with all your weight thrown forward against the wrestler who's been taking you down for the last two rounds. And you see Nizhiradza making his body type shorter, squatter than Adam Gagiev, his opponent, working for him, machine. Stacking the legs now, Nizhiradza. Oh, he's going back for the leg lock. Interesting choice, sitting back. Good defense, straight his leg. Regain position, good work. 
Just fishing for an Achilles walk, couldn't find it. That's a beautiful pass over, step over in the side control. Well, this is the first time he's been in side control. He's been in the golf for, for two rounds. Let's see if he can finish any better from here. He may even slip over to Mount. These are odds and a sit back for the Achilles lock, showing how confident he is on the ground against Gagiev in this fight. Well, he does realize he's two rounds up, so he's taking chances here in the third. We got it. A close guard for Gagiev. Big right hand. You see Gagiev's mouth wide open. He, he'll be frustrated as well, Sean. He's been here for two rounds. This is the third. Not really sure how to get out of it. He's tried, but he just doesn't. He hasn't done it with the right technique. He's tried to get up without getting around the hook. He's tried to get up without controlling the head. He's just tried to stand, and you can't just stand against a wrestler. You might be able to stand against somebody who doesn't know what they're doing, but not against a good wrestler like Najib. Body locked from the bottom. Shiradza now releases it. Looking for ground and pound. Shiradza keeping his head tucked on the chest of Gagiev. Guard wide open now for Adam Gagiev, as is his mouth. Well, I don't know much Russian, but I've heard the cornerman shout Kamura. So he's telling Gagiev to try for Kamura from bottom position. He did have a look at it. Stand in for Mika Sinkin and Gagia, but immediately looked over to his corner. Imagine they're saying something like sprawl. Inside, catching the kick, high on the single, and the takedown again for Dijaradza. Why would you kick the wrestler? It's all in, you know, it's an experience for a guy. I mean, his record's 3-2-1. He's, you know, he's won some, he's lost some, he's actually drawn. But he needs to look back at this, realize why he went wrong when he was on his back and why he couldn't get back up. He has to look at this and realize why he was taken down because his weight was too far forward when he was throwing the punches and throwing the kicks against the wrestler who's just going to grab the leg and take it down. Many mistakes, but let's hope it's a learning curve. We've not seen a single sprawl in this fight from Adam Gagia. Nijaradza catching kicks, ducking under right hands, the constant level changes for the takedowns throughout this fight. 140 remaining third and final round. Well, he's staying active now, Nizaradza. Doesn't want to be stood up with only one and a half minutes to go. Big, big hands. And out of that half guard, Gagia. See, Nizaradza facing on his right knee. He could step over to Mount anytime, anytime he wants. Push that knee down, step over, easy done. He's quite happy to be here, though. He knows he's in no trouble. Look at the left hand, you saw the body head. Body, two body shots with the right hand. 15th and final minute of this fight. No answers on the bottom, none whatsoever for Zero. Gagia. There's the mount. Got 45 seconds to finish. You see Gagiev holding the counter body lock, which is all defense when he clearly needs offense at this stage of the fight. Big left hand from Mizuraza. Another. Well, it doesn't look like Mizuraza's gonna post here. It doesn't look like he's gonna sit back. Nijaradza, a grunt on that, grunting into these punches, final stages, third and final round, by and large, it's been one-way traffic, certainly on the ground for the Georgian, so so Nijaradza, and fittingly, he's going to hold this top position all the way to the end of the fight, without a Stop. doubt, John, beautiful work, Stop. Stop. three rounds of pure great wrestling, but more so the fact, pure great ground and pound, absolutely loved it. 15 minutes up, 15 minutes down. Virtually no suspense now. An early celebration for Soso Nicharadza. Machine will collect the three judges' scorecards as you see the head scoring table for M1 Global. And assigns our outstanding judges and our outstanding referees from Russia and around Europe. Now, 
question. This is going to be pro MMA win number five. Sosa Nijaraja. See the abrasion outside of his left eye. But he took relatively little damage. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of action, we go to the judges' scorecard for a unanimous decision in favor of your winner, Sosa Nijaraja. This crowd here in the Republic of Ingushetia firmly behind their home fighter, Adam Gagia, but very sporting, very polite, as they always are for the opposing fighter in victory. And that victory goes to Soso Nijaradza. Clinical with his takedowns. Clinical with his top team, clinical with his ground and pound, so Sonny Zaraza. Dom Gagiev coming into this fight talking about being aggressive, aggressive with his stand up, aggressive on the ground with top pressure. It was all the top game. So Sonny Zaraza. Flash of Gagiev in round number two. Timing his takedowns and level changes so well throughout the course of this 15 minute three round fight. Gagia, just no answers whatsoever on the ground. You see the timing of Jaraza ducking under the right hand of Gagia. Jaraza. Never swept. Never troubled with the bottom game of Gagia throughout this fight in the early celebration, which did not prove premature at all. The winner, by way of unanimous decision, Sosa Nijaraza defeats Adam Gagia.